Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened, free to play, Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku at rainbow status. And just like the LR Roshi from yesterday, close to max links. You know, not quite there yet, but it's really not going to make that much of a difference in this showcase either way. And real quick, before we get into it, I want to quickly go over his Extreme Z Awakening details, so if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, and uh, we'll get right into it. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it is Universe Survival Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Fizz Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His Super Attack raises Attack and Defense, which can be stacked infinitely just like the Int UI Goku and causes supreme damage. And his passive is Universe Survival Saga. Allies keep plus 3, attack and defense plus 30%, so some support there. And then attack and defense plus 120% for himself and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, which is a 50% chance to dodge. And uh, beyond that, his links are Kamehameha Prepare for Battle, Experienced Fighters, Godly Power. Tournament of Power, The First Awakened, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saints, Reps of Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Turtle School, Miraculous Awakening, and Powerful Comeback. So uh, a total of 11 categories. So there you have it. That is the uh, Fizz Ultra Instinct Goku. And with all that said, let's jump into the LGE here. And uh, of course, we're running a Reps of Universe 7 team. And on this first rotation, he's linked up with the AGL UI Goku. We got some support from the Tian and Roshi. And he's starting with 120,376 defense, which is really, really impressive considering he is going to be stacking defense with every super as well. So, yeah, by the end of this run here, by the end of the event, he should be very tanky you know he should be getting i don't know the exact number but maybe close to 300,000 defense we'll see we'll see okay so getting a dodge there i like that and over two mil for the first super attack all right and an additional 2.15 yo it's almost like he knows that he's being showcased we got two dodges two supers um Really good first turn, guys. Really, really impressive first turn. So in total, that's you know over four million attack right there. Uh, technically, a hundred percent damage reduction, right? Because he didn't take any damage. And um, yeah, that was great. That was really, really impressive. Uh, for this other rotation, I'm probably gonna try to get the AGL UI and SSB together. So I guess it doesn't really matter. How we place these guys um you know what let's take roshi out so we can use him to support the fizz ui goku and uh we'll just give a few orbs to these guys i mean of course they're all good too but i've done showcases for the roshi already we already know he's a monster and uh i didn't do a showcase for the tian and roshi actually but i'm not sure if i'm going to because i've been using them so much in videos already just because they're the best support for u7 right so you guys probably already have a decent idea of uh, what they can do. And I love them, man. Roshi and Tien are so good. In fact, I would say outside of the LR Roshi, the Roshi and Tien is probably my second favorite free-to-play unit from the anniversary. Mainly because they're just such a good support. But on top of that, they get some great defense. They get some great offense, honestly. Like great damage, too, for a support unit. So if you guys haven't been, you know, giving them the respect they deserve, you know, you haven't farmed them out yet, get to work, man. They're worth it. Trust me. They're, they're definitely worth it. But anyways, getting back to the guy we're showcasing here, the UI Goku, uh, defense is at 145,000. So what was turn one? I think turn one was 120k, right? So from 120k to 145k on turn two or at the second appearance, and uh, we don't even have support this time. So if we had the Tian and Rochi supporting still, he would probably be at like 160k plus, right? So yeah, he's building pretty quick. 
he's building pretty fast. Especially considering like his stats are not the best, right? He is a free-to-play unit with an Extreme Z Awakening. So his stats are not going to be comparable to like a summonable LR or even summonable Dokkan Fest unit. But uh, look at those ultra, or not ultra, those additional supers. Look at all of those additional supers. That's four supers in two turns. And this is why I'm telling people, man, go for additionals over crits. Because he's going to be building really, really fast with those additional supers. And of course, crits are nice too. You want to get those crits. But I just feel like for a unit that can infinitely stack attack and defense, additionals just make more sense. But that's just my opinion. I know some people disagree. Some people are always going to say, you know, crits over additionals for anybody except for like Gogeta's, I guess, with the uh, effective against all. But uh, yeah, my opinion is that additionals are the way to go for guys like this UI Goku for the Fizz or the uh, Int UI Goku as well. So uh, anyways, it, it's working out, obviously. Like so far, that has proven to be a good choice, right? And of course, for free-to-play units, you guys can always change things up. It's not like you're locked into your initial build. So like if you give the Goku a bunch of additionals and then you change your mind, you're like, I don't like that. Then just farm some more copies, you know, from the story event and just change them up. It's not really a big deal either way. Like same thing for the Roshi. Um, I went with all crits for my Roshi, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to switch them over to additionals because when he gets the additional attack after the 18 key super, the additional does a lot of damage too because he's getting that massive attack boost for one turn on his 18 key super. So his 12 key super also gets the benefit and it's also doing like 4 to 5 mil. So I think additionals might actually be better for Roshi. Alright, so now we're up to 216,000 defense. That's beautiful. And let's give a few orbs here to the Gokus. Um, the Fizz UI should finish off Goku by himself, though. And we're taking 51 damage. No damage there. 2.36 mil attack. And a nice crit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so up to this point, I mean, I think a lot of you guys have already been able to get a good idea of what uh, the Fizz UI can do. He is, I would say, probably the second best free to play unit from the anniversary. Obviously, Roshi is number one. There's no beating him. He's, you know, arguably better than 90% of the summonable units in the game. Like, he's better than most summonable LRs, which is insane because he's completely free to play and not even that hard to, uh, to farm, like, compared to the Prime Battle LRs. So, yeah, Roshi's definitely number one, no question. But number two, I would say is probably UI Goku. Because, I mean, his defense has been super impressive. He's got that high chance to dodge. He's a great support unit. And uh, his damage, you know, while not insane, if you give him the additionals and he's getting those double supers fairly often, then he's still putting out some pretty good numbers. Um, nothing comparable to, to Roshi or obviously the summonable LRs, but for what he is, for a free-to-play unit with an easy A, I've been highly impressed, guys. Highly, highly impressed. Uh, look at that, 249,000 defense here. Uh, let's actually... Hmm, we are getting some more links from these guys, which I don't want to lose. So maybe we should... Maybe we should leave it like this. Yeah, let's do it like this. I'm gonna give one orb to them. Uh, let's give these to Fizz UI and these to AGL UI. Um, see, Tien and Roshi aren't really built up yet, but I'm not that concerned about their defense. I think they'll be fine. They should hold up. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. And then Fizz UI with 2.78 mil. We are missing one very, oh, additional. We are missing one very important link for him, which is uh, the first Awaken. That's a 25% attack link, which he would share with either the uh, STR UI Goku, the free to play one, or the INT UI Goku. Now I couldn't bring the INT UI Goku because 
uh, he has the same name as this Goku, and we don't have the same name update right now, so that really sucks. And um, I also didn't bring the STR UI just because, I mean, while he's okay, he's decent, like, his defense is really bad, and I just feel like he would have been a big liability on this event, so maybe I should have brought him, but either way, it, it's, it's, it's fine. You know, we could have gotten more damage, but um, it just... I mean, you wouldn't run the STR UI either way for, like, the Legendary Goku events or any of the harder events. So I think this is actually more realistic. I'm gonna go with that. This is the more realistic build. And then, of course, once we get the same name update, we will be running all of the uh, UI Gokus on the same team. So that is when you can link up this guy, the, the Fizz UI, with the Int UI Goku and get that first Awaken link and do even more damage. But... You know, with that said, he's still been, like, extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a bit of a tricky turn. Because I'm a little bit worried about taking a super attack here. Yo, look at that defense from Tien and Roshi. That is crazy. I mean, maybe we'll be fine. Maybe we'll be fine. What if we get supered, though? What if he doesn't dodge? UI Gokus have been known to not dodge for me when I need them most. I'm gonna trust this guy though. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, man. Okay, forget it. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a pop in Icarus. <laughs> Just to be extra safe. Okay, we're too far into the events. We don't have the revival skill right now, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. All right, so yeah, looking good. Okay, looking good. Taking some normals for. For a single digit and then a couple of dodges. I mean, I'm sure he would dodge, right? But it's, it's still it's still at risk. It's still only 50%. So, like, I'm going to say this was a good call. I'm going to say this was a good choice. Okay, so our attack is 2.5 mil. Of course, we're missing a bunch of links that the UI Goku gave us. So, it's it really makes sense, even with the double supports. Uh, take 27, 106. Okay, so as long as you have the item... You're fine. Yeah, if, if you use a damage reduction item, you don't have to worry about the UI Goku at all. Uh, look at Tien and Roshi doing their thing, though. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's some great damage, man. That was impressive, too. And then Piccolo and uh, Gohan as well. Some... I mean, actually, I just realized... You know, I don't really think about the Fizz UI as a support, but they're all support units. All three of them are support units. So... It stands to reason that when all three of them are together, they're, you know, all making each other crazy, crazy good, right? That was, that was a crazy rotation. Okay, so let's hop some active skills. Let's enjoy some beautiful animations together. I know I've seen this animation like a million times. I mean, it's been almost a month since the anniversary started, so I'm sure you guys have seen these animations too, at least like 50 plus times, but I can't get tired of it, man. It's just so nice. It's so clean. Let's play it again. I'm telling you, man, I can, I can watch these animations, the Goku and Vegeta animations, as many times as I need to, and I'll be perfectly happy. You know, I'll, I'll be perfectly fine with this because it's just so well done, man. Let's get a crit here. Come on. Give me that crit. Ah, okay, there we go. So close to killing him, though. You know what, let's let Vegeta finish things off. Because I rarely get to see these uh, KO screens for the for the active skills. I think this one should do the trick. Nice. Now, you know, the Vegeta KO screen is not as nice, not not as hype, I guess, as the uh, the Goku one. But still good to see. Still good to see. Okay, now we're on MUI, and this is where the Roshi and the Goku are really going to get a chance to shine. Uh, you know what, though? I don't think I want to put <laughs> Tien and Roshi there. So we're going to put him in the middle. And uh, yeah, maybe I should do this. Ooh, it would be bad news, though, if we got supered in the first slot. 
He wouldn't do that to us, would he? He might do that to us. He he might do that to us. Uh mm. tricky situation, guys. I think I'ma leave them in the middle though. Or leave them in the front rather. And uh just believe in the heart of the cards that we're not gonna get supered. Please. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're safe. We're safe. We're good. Okay. I I mean, given how much we took from a normal though, I doubt we would have died. I highly doubt we would have died. But there was also always that possibility. I I didn't trust it. Uh, getting supered. I'm gonna say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I didn't really get a prediction out, but I was, I was going to say about like 50k or so. But I clearly either underestimated Goku, like Fizz Goku, or I overestimated the, the enemy Goku. Because we took double digits. I'm pretty sure the item's worn off. I don't, I don't think we have the item available or the item effect anymore. So, uh, yeah, that was... That was something else. Alright, so let's do it like this. I'm going to put the Piccolo and Gohan in the middle. Obviously, no attacks there. And hopefully we can get one more turn with the with the Goku. There's so many Gokus. The, the Fizz Goku before we get out of here. Because, you know, clearly, like, we're, we're getting through this pretty quick. Um, doing a lot of damage. So I think we might be able to kill him here. I hope we don't, though. Because I would like to see one more attack, get one more turn with the Fizz UI before the video is over. But, I mean, even if we, even if we don't get that, I think uh, you guys get the idea. Right? He, he's a really good unit. The Fizz UI is a really, really good free to play unit. Definitely worth the grind. I mean, the grind's not even that bad, all things considered. Definitely worth grinding his medals out, his dupes out his Extreme Z Awakening medals, all that good stuff, and it's not really that hard either. Um, I would say the Extreme Z area was actually very, very easy. I think they made it like that on purpose so that everybody can get it done, and uh, yeah, you should, you should get it done. Okay, so yeah, look at that, 349,000 defense, guys. 349,000 defense. More than tanky enough to handle anything that this UI, uh, the enemy UI Goku that is. It's kind of confusing. There's a lot of UI Gokus. Um, well, throw at us. And you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this because uh, if I let AGL UI attack first, he might just kill the enemy UI by himself. And we don't want that. So yeah, let's put the Fizz UI in the front. Let's see. Of course he dodges, okay. <laughs> Just gotta ruin my chokies like that, man. I, I see you, I see you. Well, now I'm hoping this guy kills him. Because that was not cool. That was really not cool. Additional super, I see that, okay. One more crit, and it should be enough. Hmm. Okay, so not quite, but third super. AGL UI is like, okay, look, I know you're trying to showcase the, the Fizz UI Goku, but I just want to say that I am still vastly superior, and nobody's going to debate that. <laughs> nobody's going to say that the Fizz UI is better than the AGL UI. But, once again, for a free-to-play unit, really, really good, man. Fizz, Ultra Instinct Goku, Extreme Z Awakening, super, super impressive free-to-play unit, in my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him. Are you impressed? Are you disappointed? Or just kind of, you know, somewhere in between. Either way, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media.
Signing out.